Just off the coast of northeastern China, engineers are building something massive and completely unprecedented. Not a port, not a military base, an international airport built entirely in the ocean. Twenty square kilometers of reclaimed land, bigger than Monaco, nearly the size of Manhattan, and they're building it in one of the harshest marine environments in Asia, where typhoons, sea ice, and earthquakes all collide. With the price tag of four point three billion dollars, this will be the largest artificial island airport ever built, designed to move eighty million passengers a year. But the real story isn't just how they're doing it; it's why they're doing it here. This is Dalian, a coastal city in northeastern China, tucked between the Yellow Sea and the Bohai Gulf. It's home to over six million people, and it's a powerhouse for shipping, oil refining, logistics, and trade. Strategically placed just a few hundred kilometers from South Korea and Japan, Dalian sits at the crossroads of Northeast Asia. China has no shortage of mega airports, from the sprawling terminals of Beijing, Daxing, to the high-speed hubs of Guangzhou and Shanghai. But this project is something different. The Dalian Jinshouwan International Airport won't just be on the coast; it will be built into the sea. Twenty square kilometers of artificial land, more than Kansai and Hong Kong's airports combined, a new aviation hub created entirely from scratch, and that raises the obvious question: Why go offshore in the first place? Building into the sea might sound extreme, but in Dalian, it wasn't a bold choice. It was the only one that made sense. The city's existing airport is boxed in by development. Hills, dense neighborhoods, and unstable soil leave almost no room to grow. Expanding inland would mean leveling mountains or relocating entire districts. Neither is realistic. That left planners with two options: move mountains. Or move into the sea several kilometers offshore, but building offshore brings its own set of problems. The new artificial island sits in Jingshou Bay, about 25 kilometers from downtown Dalian and roughly 18 kilometers from the current airport. Jingshou Bay reaches depths of up to 10 meters. The region is known for powerful typhoons, winter sea ice, and sits within a seismic zone. It's not exactly ideal real estate for a four-runway aviation hub. China is not the first to attempt this. In Japan, Kansai International Airport was built on a man-made island in Osaka Bay. It pioneered offshore construction on soft seabeds, but started sinking almost immediately. Engineers used over a million sand drains, thousands of tetrapods, and enormous sea walls just to hold the island in place. Then came Hong Kong's Cheklap Kok, built in the 1990s by leveling entire hills to fill in two islands. Its design was shaped by one requirement: survive typhoons. Dalian's project faces both of those challenges and adds a few of its own. The island will be bigger than Kansai and Cheklap Kok combined, and the environmental conditions here are harsher. So, if you're going to build an airport here, You'll need more than just sand and concrete. You'll need to re-engineer the ocean floor itself. Over 400 million cubic meters of sand, rock, and engineered fill were shipped in by barge. That's enough material to bury San Francisco under 30 meters of earth. But none of it could just be dumped randomly. Every load had to be precisely placed, compacted, and stabilized layer by layer, because this isn't natural bedrock. It's artificial ground sitting in up to 10 meters of seawater, exposed to typhoons, sea ice, and earthquakes. To hold it all together, engineers are driving thousands of piles, some more than 80 meters deep, straight through the seabed. They're using deep cement mixing, injecting slurry into the soft marine soil to form pillars of hardened earth. Pressure grouting binds the layers together, forming a kind of man-made bedrock strong enough to support jumbo jets. And that's just the surface. The entire island is surrounded by fortified sea walls designed to take direct hits from eight-meter waves and resist years of saltwater corrosion. Inside the barriers, steel reinforced chambers, interlocking concrete blocks, and tetrapods—the same kind of breakwater structures used on missile defense islands. 
It's not just about holding the ocean back. It's about keeping the airport alive when the worst storms roll in. But building on water means more than just physics. It means ecological consequences. Reclaiming land at this scale disrupts marine habitats, reroutes sediment flows, and can alter entire coastal ecosystems. To minimize that damage, the project includes artificial reefs, transplanted marine vegetation, carefully modeled tidal channels to preserve water circulation, and real time environmental monitoring to track the impact over time. And to connect it all, a web of new infrastructure is being built. Elevated roads and bridges will link the island to the mainland. Metro Line 5 is already under construction, and Line 1 is being extended, creating direct rail service to the terminal. The site will also feature shuttle buses, public transit hubs, and a fully integrated multimodal station designed to move tens of millions of passengers smoothly between land, rail, road, and air. Because location matters. Dalian sits just across the water from South Korea and Japan, two of Asia's biggest economies and US allies. That makes it more than just a port city. It makes it a strategic gateway to Northeast Asia. And this new airport? It's being built to become a regional hub, not just for tourists and trade, but for influence. Officially, Dalian Jinshouwan is part of China's civil aviation expansion. But unofficially, it aligns perfectly with the Belt and Road Initiative, China's massive effort to connect the world through infrastructure. Airports, ports, rail lines, highways, stitched together to reshape global logistics. And when you look closer at the design, something else becomes clear. While the airport is public-facing, its scale, runway capacity, and proximity to key maritime routes raise another possibility. Dual-use capability. That means military logistics, disaster response, or rapid deployments if needed. It's a pattern we've seen before. Artificial islands in the South China Sea, runways in disputed zones, civilian infrastructure that just happens to support military objectives. But this time, the platform isn't being dropped into contested territory. It's being engineered into the heart of a trade corridor, one with deep economic stakes for China, Japan, and Korea. This isn't just soft power. It's infrastructure as diplomacy and deterrence. So what happens next? Construction is already underway. The first phase is expected to wrap up by 2035 with capacity to handle 43 million passengers per year, almost on par with JFK in New York. But that's just the start. If the full plan is realized, this airport could grow to 80 million annual passengers, plus 1 million tons of cargo. That's more cargo than Heathrow and more passengers than LAX. That would place it among the top 10 busiest airports on Earth. And it's not just about the runways. The artificial island is designed as the heart of a new economic zone, one with free trade policies, port access, and rail links tying into China's national network. Think aviation, shipping, manufacturing, and logistics, all plugged into a single, high-speed platform in Northeast Asia. It's a vision of what the future of global infrastructure could look like, engineered from scratch, multimodal by design, and built not just to serve cities, but to shape entire regions. But none of this is guaranteed. At $4.3 billion, the stakes are enormous. A successful launch could turn Dalian into a model for next-generation island airports. But if the land sinks, the connections fail, or the projections fall short, it becomes a cautionary tale of ambition outpacing reality. If you want to see more on the megaprojects shaping our world, from underwater bases to floating highways, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to see how land reclamation turns Singapore's Changi Airport into the world's most beautiful airport, We've got a video on that too. It's an entirely different kind of mega project, but just as ambitious.